This week, the kids are back to school and movie monsters take over the library. We'll help veterans cut red tape and run for a cause. All that and more, this week in Westland. Well, I hope everyone had a fun and relaxing Labor Day weekend. With the passing of the holiday, most kids are now back at school. That means we all need to be a little more careful out on the roadways. It's not uncommon, especially at the beginning of the school year, for kids to not be paying attention when crossing the street to and from school. It's also important to remember the proper procedures when encountering a school bus with flashing red or yellow lights. To help drivers, there is a short safety video that WLND produced with the Westland Police Department that you can view with your kids by going to our YouTube channel. The Westland Library is a constant hub of activity with the dozens of programs and events that they run each and every month. There is always something going on for all ages. They have everything from free movie screenings and musical performances to arts and craft classes and lectures. With all of that going on, it's easy to forget that the main focus of the library is all about books. September is National Library Card Sign-Up Month. So if you're one of those people who come to the building for events but never actually check out a book, take some time this month to get a library card and walk through the building. You're sure to find something that will pique your interest. There are many programs and services that are available to assist veterans of the armed forces. Unfortunately, many aren't aware of the benefits or haven't applied for them because of all the red tape. There's a free program coming up that has been helping veterans get what is entitled to them for 10 years now. The annual Veterans Health Summit will be held on Wednesday, September 18th at Schoolcraft College. The event is free to all military veterans, friends, family, and caregivers. The program is sponsored by Legal Help for Veterans, PLLC, and will help you get in touch with the right people to get the benefits you deserve. Registration is required and you can do that and get more information by calling 734-495 1200. Things get very big for the next Friday night movie at the Westland Library. They will be showing the 2019 film Godzilla, King of the Monsters. The doors open at 6 p.m. for refreshments before the free film starts at 6.15. In this sequel to the 2014 blockbuster, Godzilla battles Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidra with the fate of humanity hanging in the balance. Godzilla, King of the Monsters stars Kyle Chandler, runs 2 hours and 12 minutes, and is rated PG-13. Due to the Labor Day holiday, the Westland Historical Village Park was closed last weekend, but will be open this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. You can visit the park located at 857 North Wayne Road to get a tour of the facilities and get a glimpse of how life used to be in this area. While you're there, be sure to stop in the Row House to walk through the Eloise Hospital Museum. And if you are really into the preservation of history, ask one of the volunteers how you can be a part of the Westland Historical Society. Go to Facebook and like the Westland Historic Village Park to learn more. One of the greatest comedy films of all time has been turned into a musical and will be performed right here in Westland by the Inspire Theater. Mel Brooks's classic Young Frankenstein will be on stage for three weekends starting October 18th at the Westland Center for the Arts. Tickets are sure to sell out for all performances, so if you want to be in the audience, get your tickets early. They are available for purchase online now through the link at inspiretheater.com. This week on WLND, Westland City Council. This meeting of the City Council was recorded on Tuesday, September 3rd, in the Council Chambers of Westland City Hall. Dedication of the Mac Mayfield Municipal Golf Course. The nine-hole course on Merriman was officially dedicated in honor of longtime Westland employee and community activist Mac Mayfield. If you are a runner and planning on doing either the Detroit or Grand Rapids Marathon in October, there is a good training run coming up for a great cause. The Heroes on Hines Half Marathon and 5K will be on September 28th. That's just three weeks out from the marathons and registration is open now. This race raises money for the maintenance and upkeep of the Wayne County First Responders Memorial. Of course, you don't have to be training for a longer run. Anybody interested in running the race is welcome. Get all the details and sign up by going to heroesonhines.com. Well, that wraps it up for this week. Be sure to tune in next week to learn about the library's book sale, a fall fitness festival, and homework help for students. Until then, check out our website at cityofwestland.com for all kinds of news and information about our all-American city. Thanks for watching.